Welcome to the Gondola Train Original Rollers Moving System, the easiest way to move an entire shelving unit in just a few simple steps. You can buy or rent the original rollers and customized kits to fit your specific project needs. Let's get started. This system comes packed within the Red Joe box, which houses all of the moving system's parts for convenience of shipping and storage. The basic parts of the system include the original gondola train jack handles and rollers. Both 3 foot and 4 foot in length are available. Before getting started, let's take a quick look at the shelving unit you're planning to move to confirm that it can be done safely using this system. The first item is simple. Make sure the gondola you're planning to move is structurally stable. Make sure all of the feet are properly attached to the upright. The second is the height to base ratio, as this system was not meant to move shelving units with a ratio greater than 6 to 1. The third is to make sure the area is clear of debris, as this will surely aid in a smoother move. It'll also be good to remove the kick plates and sweep underneath the unit, as you will need to remove these pieces for the move anyway. The final point is to confirm that all merchandise on the shelving unit is secure, and will not fall during the move. Install the safety cap plate above the top rail at each upright by inserting the pin through the safety cap and fixture. When working with peg boards that supports heavily pegged items, you will want to use a bolt and oversized washer on both sides to secure the peg board. This will help prevent the peg board from coming out of its tracks. Once all of that is confirmed, you are ready to move. Start off first by laying out the original gondola train rollers in front of each portion of the gondola where one will be installed. When placing the rollers, you will need to start at one end, placing a roller at the beginning section and every other section down the row, making sure the first and last sections have rollers. Installing the rollers is simple but does require some strategy. You will want to start by lifting and installing the heavy side first and the lighter side last, as this is critical to avoid tipping over. Heavy side up first and down last. While considering weights involved in the move, be sure to refer to the maximum handle weight column in the gondola load handle pressure chart, which possesses the maximum weight guidelines to be applied to the jack handles. If the weights are within the guidelines, use two of the original gondola train jack handles to lift the first section by inserting the cross pipes into the conduit holes of the brace brackets on the same side of the section. Be sure to not lift the gondola train more than an inch and a half off of the floor. If the shelving unit does not have a conduit hole, you can use the tip under the brace bracket to lift the same way. However, if the conduit hole is available, we strongly recommend that method as a first option. While the gondola is lifted on each side of the section, you can put the rollers under each section. Make sure you keep your fingers on the bottom of the roller to avoid getting pinched. Once all rollers are placed, walk around the unit to make sure all parts are level. The wheels are turned in the direction of the initial push, and the leveling legs are raised and not in contact with the floor. If everything checks out, you can re-add the kick plates for additional stability if they were removed at the start of the process. And that's it! You're ready to move. Be sure to have the right amount of people helping to do so safely. On average, four people are required for every 24 feet of gondola being moved. Pushing from a low point on the unit, head into the direction of your destination. Along the way, pay close attention to the floor terrain and obstructions. If you approach a transition in the floor, it is best to go over it at a 45 degree angle as it helps avoid two wheels contacting the change simultaneously. Once you arrive at your desired destination, remove the kick plates if they were re-added for stability. For removing the rollers, you will need to do so in the proper order. Remember what we said before, heavy side up first and down last, so you will start by removing the lightest side first and remove the heaviest side last. 
Lift up the first section of the gondola with the jack handles once again, and remove the rollers from each section. Once all rollers are removed from underneath the shelving, you will need to be sure to level the entire unit. With a person on each side of the gondola, both with gondola jacks in hand, raise each section accordingly and adjust the level leg to ensure the unit is level. Complete this action down the line for the entire gondola. After the entire shelving unit has been leveled, be sure to check that the center leveling leg, as well as each outside leg, has contact with the floor. After re-leveling the gondola and adjusting the leveling legs, you will need to replace the kick plates if they were removed during the leveling process. When you're finished, place all pieces back inside of the red Joe box for convenient access for your next big move. Visit our website for more information or call us at 608-763-4216.